In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to create interactive video with Adobe Animate 2017. So the final result of what I'm trying to create is I have a video of my hand here. And if I click on the palm, the hand opens. If I want to go back to close, I can click on the wrist. If I want the thumb to move, I click on the thumb. And if I want the finger to move, I click on the finger. And I can do this in any order. And so I've got interactive video with buttons basically on the video itself. So I've broken this up into parts so you can cut to the chase on the part that you need to uh, work on if you end up in the middle of it. So the first thing I've done is I recorded a, a video of my hand making all of these gestures, closed, open, thumb moving, finger moving. So I just made a recording of that. And now the next thing I need to do is cut those up into four small videos. And I'm going to use Adobe Premiere. You could also use QuickTime Pro if you happen to have it. But as you will be using Adobe Animate, I imagine you might have Premiere as well as part of the uh, Adobe suite. So I'm going to go ahead and use Premiere um, as you may not have QuickTime Pro. So opening up Premiere, um, I'm going to start a new project. I don't really, it doesn't really matter um, what the settings are here because as soon as I bring in a video, um, it will change the size to what I need. So I'm going to go to File and import my hand video that I created. There it is, and that throws it into the project folder right here. And I'm going to, you can scrub it and see that it's, it's the whole thing. And I'm going to throw it in the timeline, just drag it over here. And when I do that, it will create a sequence with the whole movie. So here's the whole movie. It has all the parts to it. So I need to cut this up into smaller segments. So I'm going to take my razor blade tool right here. and I'll drag the playhead out to where I want it. I want it uh, just to get a, a moment of nothing happening before the thumb starts to go. So it's about there. I think that would work. So I'll take my razor blade and I will cut it right there. Go back to my selector and then select this and hit delete and delete that part of the movie. So now it's just my hand kind of wiggling around. So I'm going to export that now. File, export media. And I'm going to export it as a JPEG sequence. So it's going to be a sequence of still images. So you just hit JPEG for your format. And that's really all you need to do. So it'll just be a sequence of JPEGs, just pictures. And I'm going to click on the name of it, Hand. And I want to label my videos um, so I can tell what they are, because I'm making them into smaller videos. So I'm going to call this one closed because it's my closed hand. It's just my hand sitting there closed. So I'm, not, I'm going to call it closed and then I'm going to make a folder, a new folder called closed. So I know where it puts all those stills. So I'm just put that on the desktop. So I hit create and I hit save. And then I have to hit export down here. And it does it and that's it. So I've got closed now. So I'm going to pull this video back out because after you cut it, you can also just continue to pull it out. It's still there. And here's the thumb. So that's my next one. So the beginning of the thumb is about there. So I'm going to razor blade that, the beginning of the thumb. And then I'm going to go to the end of the thumb movement, which is here. Razor blade that. And now I'm going to snip off the beginning and the end. So I just have my thumb movement. So I just deleted that. And then I'm going to move this to the beginning so that it knows where to end the video, and there it is. So I'll do the same thing. I will export media to JPEG sequence. I will relabel it as thumb, make a folder on my desktop called thumb, so that I know where these images are going. Hit save, hit export, done. 
pull the video back out again. Okay, great. Now I'm going to go finger. There's the finger. Here's the beginning of the finger motion. I will razor blade that, go to the end of the finger motion, razor blade that, and then delete the beginning and the end so it's just the finger, and then again move this to the beginning. Export media, call it finger, and by the way you can see from the thumb there's all the, the stills that it made, labeled them still 0, 1, 2, 3, and on and on. And it will do the same thing. So I'm going to make a finger folder. Uh, oh, I want it on the desktop. Better go to desktop first. New folder called finger again. Just wanted to make that on the desktop. And hit save and then export my finger stills. There they are. Great. Hopefully all that worked out. And now I want one with the open hand. So the beginning of the open hand is here. Razor blade it. Go to the end of the open hand. Maybe a few more frames just for fun. And blade that and delete the beginning and the end. And then again drag it to the beginning. Looks good. Export it out. Call it open. Go back to my desktop and make a new folder called Open. I know where the images are going. Hit Save, Export, and I'm done. Now I'm going to quit Adobe Premiere. So this is part one. Now we're going to go to Adobe Animate and pull those in and recreate the movies out of the stills. So that will be part two.